CJPT stands for Commercial Japan Partnership Technology. So it's a commercial uh, related venture. And the reason why we believe commercial vehicles is a good area to start is that fundamentally, if you look at how commercial vehicles are used, there's a certain pattern of usage which is quite similar. You have uh, the energy source can be clearly identified. The infrastructure can be more regulated in terms of where we put the infrastructure. And then if you look at the vehicles itself, we have long haul vehicles. Then we have maybe uh, kind of getting to from warehouse to distributorship and then potentially last mile delivery. So if you consider this entire journey from the energy to the infrastructure to the long haul, maybe the final last mile as well, we believe we have all of the elements that we can put together to be able to show the potential of what is possible. This does not mean that each of the companies within CJPT, whether it's Isuzu or Suzuki or Daihatsu or Toyota, have no intention on passenger cars related to uh, carbon neutrality. We are equally committed to carbon neutrality for passenger vehicles. But when we look at this particular area, the reason why all of the four companies plus, you know, are working together is that we each have certain strengths that we can bring together to be able to really accelerate the decarbonization, especially for commercial. We are, of course, starting the project here in Thailand. In Thailand, all of the partners who we've indicated, we believe can contribute something within the Thai market. But we do not believe, as CJPT, we are not kind of restricting ourselves only to ourselves. We work with third parties, with other companies, as we've already announced with, for example, CP Group, that we are working with CP Group, and we also showed that through bio-waste we can make hydrogen, or we can potentially work on the entire area of energy, uh, data, as well as mobility. So we do believe that if we find like-minded partners, we can work in any country based on that. So at the moment, while we still need to kind of roll out the project in Thailand, make it kind of realizable, once we start kind of looking at the other countries, in each country we will find who is the most appropriate partners and try to think about scaling it up in that context. That having been said, one of our partners in CJPT is Suzuki. Suzuki is a huge, huge presence in India. Isuzu is also present in India. So it doesn't necessarily mean that we will only kind of, uh, of course, focus on our partners, but even our CJPT companies have large presences in actually all of the markets. Right now, we don't have, for India, if you ask me, what is the concrete plan? Who are the partners? What are we going to do? I have to admit that we are still in the process of studying First, of course, we want to make sure that we can realize what we're doing in Thailand. But the reason we call all of you is to also show our intention is not for Thailand alone. Our intention is for all of Asia. But specifically, which partners are we going to work with? Which is the area that we can show? I think each country may have a different business case or a different use case where we can showcase the potential of carbon reduction as quickly as possible. The reason why we are so bullish about hydrogen is not just purely looking at hydrogen uh, for mobility. Hydrogen as an energy source is a very, very attractive uh, kind of energy source because you can produce it from renewable energy. Most importantly, you can store it, you can transport it, you can use it for mobility, but you can use it for industrial feedstock, you can use it for multiple uses. We call it the Swiss knife of energy because it can be used in so many sources. So there's a very strong attractiveness for hydrogen as an energy source. Furthermore, we also know that hydrogen is kind of a only way that we can decarbonize certain industries. And for mobility, if we look at it, just considering the refueling recharge time that we have, and also the long haul and the long distance that we're considering, it's a very, very attractive energy source. We need to, of course, increase the usage so that we can start getting the price of hydrogen down. We need to increase uh, the demand, and as you increase the demand, naturally the cost of supply would come down. But in this context, what we also want to say is that even 10 years ago, we weren't speaking so much about BEVs. Now we're talking about BEVs. Technologies change, and we have to also understand that we must adapt to these technologies and not close the door to a certain technology. So we have to continuously uh, see what are the technologies that have the greatest potential, and we should encourage these technologies. 
That's what CJPTO so strongly wants to do. We want to encourage the technology. We want to show how it can be used. We want to get the user as well to be a part of this entire journey. And as they get to that, we can significantly kind of also make it uh, reduce the price and, and also increase the supply. We believe that the Indian government has been probably one of the most aggressive bullish on hydrogen. They have talked about hydrogen potential. They have spoken about being the leader of green hydrogen. The Prime Minister has addressed this even in the Independence Day message. Uh, they have also created a hydrogen mission. They have also a roadmap in terms of how the hydrogen will be prepared. I think many hydrogen research stations that are going to be prepared across the country. They're talking about bio waste. They're talking about electrolyzer production. And they've also announced a huge amount of money, I think over two and a half billion dollars in terms of supporting hydrogen to be rolled out in India. So the first thing is, of course, we are very grateful for the Indian government's strong attention on this particular activity. We also know that many Indian companies have shown strong interest in hydrogen. For example, whether it's Tata's or whether it's Reliance or other players have as well, have shown an interest in terms of hydrogen and what the potential of hydrogen is. We are, we are happy in terms of the broad direction. We're still kind of looking at what is the possibilities of hydrogen. Again, as I mentioned, hydrogen has multiple uses, not just on mobility. We're looking at mobility. We're looking at non-mobility as well. We're trying to see where we can further contribute to India.